Context and Application for the En-ROADS Climate Workshop. What is the motivation for using this kind of approach? And where can you lead this? What are the settings, places, formats? Here we go. So where can you lead this thing? All over the world. There's such a precedent for how we've been leading it and how our partners have been leading it around the world. What we have now, 73 countries, 2,400 events, how many, 745 facilitators you can see on this map all over the world. The context, the settings, the um, sectors, business and finance, particularly in corporate sustainability and climate risk in government from all levels, from local to state, provincial, national, all the way up to the United Nations in media, engaging reporters who want to think about these issues, education, middle school, high school, college, grad school, civil society, NGOs, community groups. People have led workshops in all of these settings. Why? And why take this approach? Well, John Sturman, our partner here at Climate Interactive and professor at MIT Sloan said it best. Research shows that showing people research doesn't work. Research shows that showing people research doesn't work. So what works? Helping people learn on their own terms. The En-ROADS Climate Workshop is a powerful way to do that. It takes advantage of a principle that Buckminster Fuller laid out. If you want to teach people a new way of thinking, don't bother trying to teach them. Instead, give them a tool, the use of which will lead to a new ways of thinking. Give them a tool, the use of which. You can see the idea here is that the woman in yellow is interacting with some guidance and learning some new ways to thinking by engaging with the En-ROADS tool. So what are the settings? Often it's one-on-one, -on -one, guiding a person through exploring various futures in En-ROADS, creating the scenario that they're excited about, that they wanna see in the future with their finger on the touchpad, as you can see here with John Kerry, his finger on the touchpad, ideally at some point, if you can pull it off. Maybe it's two on one. It's here with uh, Susan Hassel and Bill Nye. Or a slightly larger group, engaging them in thinking and talking with each other, not just with the facilitator, not just with the simulator, but peer to peer conversation perhaps in larger groups, in a classroom setting, or even larger. Perhaps a presentation format, the En-ROADS Climate Workshop can work in that setting, or even online with a small group or a large group. It can also be the setup to the En-ROADS Climate Guided Assignment or Student Assignment, where students talk to each other, create a scenario, and talk about its implications, answer some questions about it. The workshop can set up this assignment. It's being played all over the world, run all over the world. Overall, this is a powerful way to address the challenge that people like to learn on their own terms. They don't like to be given information. There are many settings and many sectors this can help and in many different formats, from small groups to larger groups. Hopefully you can use it to make a big difference. Go get them.